Hello everyone, this is Chase Hook with Go Engineer Technical Support and today we are going to do a quick tips and tricks video on how to link global variables to linear and circular sketch patterns. So let's go ahead and hop right into the part here. And the first thing that we want to do is go ahead and go up to tools and we're going to add in the global variables. So click on equations. And the first global variable that we would like to define is called linear and let's go ahead and give that a value of 6 and the next one that we want to do is circular and let's go ahead and give that a value of 4 let's click OK and let's go ahead and edit the sketch so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and select the sketch entities that we would like to pattern and click linear pat sketch pattern so if you notice here, if I start trying to type linear, it's going to give me unacceptable character error. And that box is looking for numeric values only. So let's go ahead and just populate this quickly and we will link the global variables later on. The key here is to make sure that we display the instance count and we also dimension the X spacing. This is going to allow us to link those global variables later on here. So go ahead and hit the green check. And if you notice here, um, it goes ahead and gives us our dimensions and our number of instances. Go ahead and double click on the dimension here. And we're going to go ahead and type equals. And then that's going to go ahead and give us our global variables here. Let's select linear and hit the green check. And that's going to make that six inches there so then you can go ahead and adjust the number of instances let's call it four and boom there you go we have a linear sketch pattern that are six inches apart and there's four instances so let's go ahead and exit that sketch discard changes and exit and the next thing I'm going to show you is how to do that with a circular pattern very very similar steps so let's go ahead and right click here edit sketch let's select the entities that we would like to circular pattern we're gonna go ahead and select circular sketch pattern and in the very same error that we're gonna get when I start typing circular unacceptable character so once again that box is looking for numeric values only so let's go ahead and just give this a value of 2 and once again we want to display instance count so that's going to allow us to actually change the number of instances around this circular pattern. So go ahead and hit the green check. The number of instances is displayed. Double click. And then you can go ahead and hit the equal sign. Here's my global variables and there's my circular. Go ahead and hit the green check. And now we have a circular pattern of four that are connected to a global variable. This has been uh, Tips and Tricks with Chase Hook from Go Engineer. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to reach out to support at goengineer.com. Mm -hmm.